let's jump into problem 62a this has us doing inventory purchases there's going to be a discount element to this you'll all remember at this point terms mean 210 net 30 means we got a if we pay within 10 days we get to take a two percent discount if paid within 10 days and 30 means if we don't take that two percent discount the bills do in 30 days so after 30 we get charged interest and penalties um the other thing i just want to say at the start is if you're looking for this problem and you want to download it go to tonybell.com you just click that pdf link and scroll down to whatever problem it is you're looking for you don't have to log in it just the pdf pops right up i'm very proud of that element of this website and search for the problem you'll notice like this video many are free but there are some members only videos if you're interested in viewing the members only videos you got to hit the join button underneath the video player so the problem we're working on is 62A. It says the following transactions occurred for Belco. May 7th, we purchased $1,000 of inventory on account. Uh, May 10th, uh, we returned some of the goods. Some of the goods were damaged, so they give us credit to our account. And then May 14th, we pay the bill. Okay, let's start with May 7th. And what happens? We buy inventory. Inventory is an asset, so we debit inventory. We're going to have more inventory today than we had yesterday. Debit inventory, $1,000, and we credit AP. We bought the inventory on account. Had we bought it for cash, credit cash. May 10th, what's happening? Well, some of the goods were damaged, and we got a credit memo. What's a credit memo? We emailed them. Maybe we showed them pictures, texted them pictures, and said, look, the stuff you gave us, there's a lot of this stuff is garbage. And they said, take 250 off the bill, right? We're sorry about that. We accept your explanation. Maybe we return the product. And they said, take $250 off the bill because of the uh, damaged merchandise. And we said, sure. So take 250 off the bill. What does that look like? Well, we're going to reduce our AP, debit AP to reduce AP by $250. And well, if the goods were damaged, it means the inventory is less valuable than we thought. We credit inventory by 250. In other words, we bought $1,000 worth of inventory. Well, no, we didn't. We only got 750 because a quarter of the inventory was bad. Uh, okay, well, what happens next? May the 14th, we pay the bill. How much do we have to pay? Well, first, do we get a discount? The answer is yes, right? It's within 10 days, we're gonna take a 2% discount. Now, what do we take the 2% discount on? We owed them $1,000 initially, but remember, they credit our account for 250. We only get to take the discount on this 750 amount that we owe after the credit memo. We don't get to take a 2% discount on the whole thousand because we basically returned a bunch of the goods. So what's 2% discount on uh, $750, it's $15. That's the size of the discount. So how much are we actually going to pay here? Well, $750 minus a $15 discount, we're going to pay $735. Uh, That's the amount we're going to pay. So let's credit cash for $735. We got to get rid of all of the AP. The full amount of the AP was 750, and then we're off by $15. Now you'll recall, this one is quirky. The first few times you see it, you go, what, what should I credit here? And, and the, the mistake students make is they credit an account called discount. That is not correct. We have to credit our inventory. And why do we have to credit our inventory? Inventory is only worth what you have paid for it. So the easiest way to summarize this is to just look at our inventory account through all of this. So we had $1,000 worth of inventory. We said, no, 250 of this inventory is garbage. We received it, it was damaged, we didn't want it, whatever. So we sent back the 250 or we threw it in the garbage and now we're left with $750 of inventory after that. Well, we credit our inventory 15 here, meaning after all is said and done, we only purchased $735 worth of inventory. That hits me as being correct. Why is that correct? Because that's what I paid for the inventory. An asset is worth what you pay 
to make the thing useful. So we only paid $735 for our inventory. That's how much the inventory is in our records after having done all of these journal entries this number is the correct number. So that's why we credit inventory here, because otherwise we'd be showing 750 of inventory. That's not true. You got to take out that discount amount. The analogy I always give is you go on the car lot, you buy a $60,000 car and it's the sticker price. You negotiate it down to 50. You don't get to debit car for 60 because you got a $10,000 discount. No, you just bought a $50,000 car, not a $60,000 car. We bought $735 worth of inventory, not $750. Why? Because we paid $735. As always, thank you uh, so much for watching. Don't be shy about hitting those buttons, and I'll see you in our next video. Bye for now. The next video in our series is right up here, and if you want a supercut of all of the videos in this series, that's the one down below.